Kylie, only a frogfish card here. I've just um, got the latest catalogue in front of me today, just to say um, if anyone would like a copy of this, just contact me on my email address that's always displayed at the end of my videos. So today we're doing a card from one of the new stamps out of the catalogue called Artistically Asian. And this is the card that I plan on showing you in this video. We're going to require a piece of um, pear pizzazz at four and a quarter by eleven and five eighths. You're also going to need a piece of basic black that's three and a quarter by five inches. You'll need a piece of Whisper White that is 2 inches by 3 inches. Also um, by 1 inch by 3 and a half inches. And 3 quarters of an inch by 2 inch of the Whisper White. And then the Cherry Cobbler, you need two pieces. One at 1 and a half by 4 inches. And the other one is 1 by 2 and a quarter inches. So we're just going to fold the pear pizzazz in half and bone it to get a nice firm fold and then place that to one side. Then we're going to be working on the black and what I did on the black is I embossed it with the new copper that is in the catalogue, copper embossing powder and I'm showing with the bamboo which I'm going to show you how to do that now. So you'll require two pieces of paper. One you want to be stamping your verse mark onto and the other one is so that you can apply your embossing powder. This is the new copper embossing powder that um, has been introduced into our 2016-2017 um, catalogue. You also need to use an uh, embossing buddy which takes all the um, skins, oils and things like that off your cardstock so that you don't have extra um, embossing powder sticking in areas where you don't particularly want the uh, powder to be adhered to. And then you're using Versamark, which is a clear inking membrane, which allows the embossing powder to stick to it. So you're just inking your stamp, which is the bamboo. And I just placed it half on and half off the page because I wanted it to flow in a, in a wrapping paper type of effect. So, you want to apply it three or four times, just to give it a nice effect. Just like so. Okay, we are also at the same time as doing that going to do our Chinese banner, which is embossed in the copper, and our verse. So with the Chinese banner, I just used the two um, Asian style writings, put them onto the G block and put them into the Versa marker and after embossing Buddy It, your card stock, you will stamp your letterings. And again with the verse, the verse we're using 
today is also from the Artistic Asian stamp set and it um, says thanks for always being there for me. So again you want to um, emboss embossing buddy on the cardstock to get any um, skin oils off, off it so that you're not having um, unnecessary embossed areas and then you're just going to ink it and then once you've done that you'll swap over your paper for another sheet Fold the paper in half, and I'll sh explain to you why we've done that after we've done attached all the embossing powder to the pieces of cardstock that we wish to be embossed. And all I do is put it to one side and tip it over. And as you can see, it has adhered to the um, Versamark ink that we've applied to the cardstock and you want to do that with all three pieces that we have versamarked just like that now the reason why we fold a piece of paper in half is so that it's easier for us to return the embossing powder to the container that it came from and make sure you return the lid straight away because it's very fine powder and it's a real annoyance to have to clean up. So then you'll need a heat tool and I always heat under, from underneath when I'm in using embossing powder, I just think it makes a better effect. So with the embossing powder, once it starts to go glossy, then you know that it's cooked. If you overcook it, it will just chip off. So you need to just watch it carefully. And as soon as it starts to go glossy, move your heating tool to the next section. With your black cardstock, um, the embossing body tends to leave a bit of a residue, so I tend to just wipe it over with a bit of wet one, just to take that residue off and return it back to a nice stark black cardstock. Then you want to use your Whisper White, that is two and a half centimetres by three centimetres, and we're going to use the Orchid which is one of the stamp, main flower stamps within the set. Um, and we're going to dob it as well as use blender pens to put the ink on because I wanted to create um, a multicoloured stamp. So if you ink it, you'll have the whole stamp covered with the same colour ink, which is not what I wanted. So. I used dobbers and the blender pens to ink up the stamp so that I could stamp it onto the cardstock. So the first colour that we're going to use is soft suede. And just a dobber, this is a dobber, 
it's a uh, foam pad in a, a bit of plastic tube that you put your finger into so you can control where you're going to put your ink. So you just dob it onto the ink pad and then put it where you want require it on your stamp. So I just want it to be the dirt mound in at the bottom of that stamp. So all I'm doing is applying it to that area, the soft suede, just like so. Then I used the pear pizzazz. To do the leaves and the stems where I could with the dauber and then I finish it off with the blender the blender pen so where I could with the dauber And then I use the blender pen. And it's always good to have a piece of wet one close by to clean the blender pen off after you applied the ink that you want to apply. So you're just painting in that area that you want to be that colour. So I'm just finishing off those stems and this piece of grass that I couldn't get to with the dauber because it was too close to the orchid flowers. And then clean it off and use your next colour, which we are going to be using cherry, well I'm using cherry cobbler for that application. And we're just colouring the flowers so that they're nice and bright. So now it's just stamping it onto your cardstock, making sure that it's evenly placed. And there you go, there's your orchid all done. Now we're going to use the banner punch just to cut a triangle out of the bottom of that cardstock on your cherry cobbler and your little Asian writing like so so then you want to glue your banner together Across my the top of my banner I've actually put some of the new copper thread that is available in our new catalogue. Copper is the new in colour for um, stamping up. So I just 
twirled it around the top there a little bit. So to help that adhere, I just put a piece of tear and tape across the back of this and try and get it right to the very top of the edge of the cardstock so that the metallic thread has got something to adhere to. Otherwise it slides off and it can be quite um, frustrating when you can't get it to do what you want it to do. So I just find that this helps somewhat stop that frustration because there's nothing worse. Crafting's supposed to be fun. You don't want to be frustrated and annoyed with silly little things that can happen. You just want to have it nice and neat. So then with your metallic thread, I find that if you pierce a hole through the bag that it comes in and then pull the thread through, because the thread is so fine, it just untwines and then you've got it everywhere. Whereas if you have it in the plastic bag, it just seems to uh, hold it together a bit better and you don't have that issue of where it's just unravelling and you've got no control over it and it makes a mess of everything. So if you keep it in the plastic bag and just put the thread through the hole that you have pierced into the plastic bag, you will have such an easier time of controlling this metallic thread. So I started down about two eighths of an inch and I just keep on winding it around until I get to the top of the cardstock just to create a bit of a top to the banner just to put a fancy top on it. Then just push it, the thread into the tear and tape that you've got on the back of the cardstock and just make sure that it's nice and adhered and that will stop it slipping off the front. And then you just get this really cool effect at the top of your banner. So on the back of that you want to put some dimensionals. and then place that to one side. We need to trim down the piece of cardstock that we used to print our verse on and it needs to be trimmed down to three quarters of an inch by two inches. So I would cut it at two inches first I hope you can see that in shot probably not, I'm probably out of shot I do apologise if I'm out of shot I'll just bring it down a bit and then three quarters of an inch and I find when you're cutting it at three quarters of an inch with my cutter, everyone's cutter is different, but with my cutter you can either cut it this way or cut it that way. But when it's a fine piece you need to cut it this way because otherwise you can't hold it and um, it cuts crooked. So I just like to hold it and cut it. So I'm just going to turn this around because I had to cut a 
above the writing and trim that excess piece off that I don't need. Like that. So that's three quarters of an inch by two inches. Then you want to adhere it to your piece of cherry cobbler which is one inch by two and a quarter inches. on the back of this as well. Then all you're doing is constructing. So <clears throat> I'll bring over my piece of pear pizzazz and I centralised my um, embossed backing ground to the pear pizzazz make sure you have your bamboo up the right way then I glued the orchid straight to the pear pizzazz and the embossed background but I brought it down with a finer border so it's probably about one eighth of an inch off the side edge and the bottom edge so you want to come one eighth of an inch in and one eighth of it one eighth of an inch up And the banner I placed level with the top of the card and one eighth of an inch in. So you want to remove your backing tape from your dimensionals. And put it to level with the top of the opening of the card and one eighth of an inch off the side. And again with the verse, I have just leveled it with the top of the card. So you're removing your backing tape off the back of your dimensionals and you're leveling it with the top of the card and bringing it one eighth of an inch in from the side of the card like so. And that's it. A quick and easy card that's quite effective. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Have a nice day.